Hello, Scorpio. I'm going to be doing your um, general reading for today. It is a twin flame reading. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I love hearing from you guys. I love, um, you know, living vicariously through my, through my supporters and I love the support that I get. So thank you very much for that. Also, if you would like to book a personal reading right now, I'm doing $10 off to book that you just email me. And that email is in the description box below. If you would like to be entered to win a free personal reading, I will be giving one a week away. That's a tongue twister, isn't it? Um, to be entered for that, all you have to do is like, share, subscribe. And in the comments to this video, I want you to hashtag twin flame. All right. So this is going to be a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Take what resonates for you. Leave the rest. This will be for sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Um, I will be putting you on one side, your person on the other. Feel free to um, flip those. The roles can be reversed sometimes, right? All right, so let's do this. Scorpio, Scorpio, my sweet little stingers. My sweet little stingers. All right. Bottom of the deck, the chariot, Cancerian energy. Let me get let me get, let me get straight. Okay. There's a little gnat in here. So I'm not on drugs. There really is like a little gnat and it's driving me nuts. All right, here we go. We have the four of wands. Very fitting. It's a twin flame reading. We have the knight of wands, some fire energy, the six of wands, more fire energy, the magician, the nine of pentacles, and the two of pentacles. I'm going to go ahead and pull this side. My dog is barking. So everything here is very organic, right? This is my house. Things happen. All right. We've got the three of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, the world, the hierophant, temperance, and the ace of swords. All right. I like it with that chariot on the bottom of the deck. So we've got Taurus, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I think the only thing that we don't have any here, have of here is cups. There's not any water energy here. So that'd be you guys bring in the water energy, right? Okay. So four of wands, knight of wands on this uh, first draw, right? So this is, um, if this is you, you are feeling the pull of this connection and ready to go after it, okay? Ready to go after this four of wands, in the, being in this knight of wands energy. Five of Swords, you want a win in this situation. If there is anybody that is competing for this person, you want a victory. I don't see it as bad. I just see you um, really um, being in it to win it. I, I'm not seeing mind games or manipulation or anything like that. I just feel like you want this you want this relationship. You are aware of this connection. You want it and you're going to get it no matter what. You're going to do what it takes. And five of wands. Yeah, if there's anybody else standing in your way, they better get ready. Because you're bringing it. Right? You are up for the challenge. There is, you know, some a lot of changes taking place for you, I feel like. So this Knight of Wands, this is you ready to go after it. I mean, you are the King of Swords here. Yeah, you are, um, you know, the King of Swords is the only king in the deck that has a weapon. You are calculated, passionate. You are moving forward. Um, you're being logical. You're taking charge. The King of Cups, there you are. This is you. This is all you. You are in it to win it. I just feel like whoever's in the way of this connection better get out of the way, right? But you're manifesting a win with this magician and this six of wands. You want a victory. And with these cards above it, you are going to get it. I mean, you're going to do what it takes. 
I don't see any sneaky underhand, anything like that. I just feel like you are like going in for the kill. The four of cups. Yeah, there was a missed opportunity and you're not going to miss it again. You want victory. You are going to get what you want. The Knight of Swords, again, going after it, taking charge, taking action, having confidence. You're intelligent and you're you're literally moving in for the kill. So this magician, and I feel like you're doing all of this, you know, in terms of, you know, manifesting energy work. Hell or high water, you're going to win. You are manifesting the hell out of it. The two of swords. You are making, you may even be making, you know, some ruthless decisions. Cutting people, places, things off that are not in alignment with what you want. Strategizing, choosing, making intelligent decisions, making fast decisions about what you want strategizing. You know, it's either a yes or it's a no. If it's not a yes, it's a no. And you're moving on and moving away, right? You are manifesting like crazy, I feel like. The lovers, yeah. You want this relationship. This two of swords is about a choice. The lovers is about a choice, right? But you are manifesting this connection. Wow. The nine of pentacles. You're in this, you know, you are standing on your own. We've got this nine of pentacles, two of pentacles, right? You are working in real time. That's what this two of pentacles is about. Working in real time, making decisions, multitasking. This nine of pentacles, you are in your strongest energy, right? You understand that, you, that on your own, you have everything you need. You don't necessarily need another person or another energy to be happy. However, you know that there is this connection and you want it and you're manifesting it and you're doing what it takes, working in real time while your ships come in. In the traditional tarot, the two of pentacles, the guy is, you know, juggling the two pentacles with the infinity sign, right? You are constantly working, constantly making decisions, constantly balancing, um, manifesting and daily tasks, multitasking. All the while your ships are coming in in the background, right? That whatever you're doing is bringing this to you. The star, the nine of pentacles and the star getting a wish. I like it. And the ten of swords. <laughs> you are literally ending anything that is not in alignment with you in this connection. You are almost ruthless in this in this situation here. Going in for the kill. Not allowing anything to come in between you and this person ever again or if there was whatever it is, you are handling business. Two of Pentacles and the Empress. And here you are leveling up. This hard work is bringing about ascension, bringing about change, bringing about abundance. And the Ten of Cups, bringing about happiness and emotional fulfillment with your person, bringing security, happiness, damn fly, nap thing. All right. On the other side of this, we've got the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. This is you working together with your person, you, your person and spirit working in real time to um, bring this investment, these seeds to fruition. You've planted these seeds and now you're watering them. You're working together to grow, to build. The Ace of Cups. So now we have the Ace of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. This person is ready for this new beginning. They're aware of it, they're awake to it, and they want to come together. They want to work with you. They want these long-term investments, investments to pay off. The emperor. So now we have the empress and the emperor. There's your, there's your couple. The seven of pentacles. This is the seeds that you plant coming to fruition. The eight of swords. 
they could be there could be something in the past that they're still working out that they're stuck on but i feel like more so this is uh not willing, not being willing to walk away from this situation. It's like, no matter what the future brings, no matter what comes, you are fixated, focused, and staying right here. And this person is in that energy. I don't see it as a bad thing right now. I just don't. Oh, good gravy. How am I doing? get one more the knight of cups yeah they they are um they may very well be working on some self love also um but they are bound and determined to um be in a position be in alignment with you when you're ready this other person is is ready so the world and the hierophant this is starting a new cycle learning growing the hierophant is all about learning it it is also about um you know a relationship a marriage a found you know something that is founded in tradition so we have the 9 of cups in the world getting a wish completing a cycle success happiness abundance and the 6 of wands a victory in a new beginning a new cycle they're leveling up and learning. The devil and the hierophant. Um, my speaker is itching like crazy. Um, this person may very well, um, if there was anything toxic in their life, they are learning and opening up to being aware of that. I also, I feel like this is a lot of lusty energy because I've got the lovers in the same position on this side and the devil over here. And when I get the lovers and the devil together in a reading, a lot of times that is like, that's, that's a twin flame. That is a lot of good juju. That's that, you know, that, that beautiful soul tie with that super hot, you know, kind of lusty, sexy energy. And I like that. And the Five of Cups. They may have some regrets about their past. They may be missing you and really learning. Very focused on what they want and leveling up. They may have some regrets from the past. If you guys were together in the past and it did not go so well. They are, they want a new cycle. They are upset about that. They don't like that. They don't want to be apart from you. They, they miss you. And here's, we have temperance and the ace of swords. So temperance comes along, you know, requiring patience, but bringing some healing, bringing some balance. And then getting a new beginning in truth, wiping the slate clean and getting a redo, getting a fresh start. Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords. Okay, I clarified temperance with the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is right next to it. So getting some healing and a new beginning in truth, right? Some enlightenment, some clarity, and an awakening. So now there is like this kind of um, understanding of what this is. They are, they are awake to this connection, and here it comes, right? Divine timing has been has been the key to this whole thing. That's what temperance brings. So this Ace of Swords, this new beginning in truth, we've got it twice now. The Eight of Cups, leaving things in the past that are not in alignment with this connection, with your destiny, with where you're going or where your person is going, however it resonates for you. And the Ten of Wands. Um, this has been coming up at the end of them lately, right? This is finally laying down those burdens. Um, you've got to the finish line. You're where you need to be. You're leaving things and you're putting those wands down and walking away. You're done. You're done with that journey and you are awakening to this connection and coming into union, right? So here's this chariot. 
the chariot is full steam ahead, right? And the hanged man seeing things from a different perspective, getting downloads so that you can understand this connection. And here you are, queen of cups, moving forward, offering that cup of love to the empress, right? I feel like in the past, there was some heartbreak with this three of swords, four of cups. This person has thought about you the whole time. You are their 10 of cups. They want to go after you and they are strong. This is this person again, coming in, right? If this is you or your person going after what you want with like animal strength, leaving people, places, and situations behind that no longer serve you and working on reconciling with a soulmate, going forward with a new beginning. Whew. All right. I like it. All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope it gives you some clarity and some guidance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment hashtag twin flame to be entered for the free personal reading. If you would like to purchase a personal reading, they're $10 off right now. Um, so get in while the getting is good. And in the meantime, I'm sending you tons of love and light and I will see you next time.